Unity Park got even cooler. I'm Lauren Thomas and throwing some shade is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. Six oversized umbrellas were added to the splash pad and playground areas to provide families more comfort. We have larger shade structures on order to provide more relief. Do you enjoy working outdoors, want to be part of maintaining the city's beautiful parks, or helping with our nationally acclaimed events? Our parks recreation and tourism team is hiring. Earn great benefits and pay time off while doing something you love. Apply at jobs.greenvillesc.gov. Connecting downtown Greenville to the library and children's museum. The city is planning improvements at Academy Street to make the area safer for walkers and bikers to cross. Learn more about the project at greenvillesc.gov slash cultural corridor. Richland Way is closed from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. through Tuesday, June 14th. The railing on the Washington Street Bridge is undergoing repairs after a large tree fell on it last month. Parks and Public Works crews removed four diseased or dead trees on Main Street. The trees were inspected by the city's urban forester and will be replanted this fall. Making Greenville Cleanville. Sweeping crews picked up 36 tons of debris, litter crews collected 11,340 pounds of litter, and downtown crews collected 7,820 pounds of trash. The city will host a Juneteenth celebration at Unity Park on Friday, June 17th from 4 to 6 p.m. The event will feature the unveiling of the Holloway mural as well as poetry readings, a jazz performance, and live art. Big collars for big dogs. Stop by the Cleveland Park stables through June 19th to view the Big Dog Show's decorative collar contest. Members of the Arts and Public Places Commission will select the best in show. Happy birthday to Chuma the African Lion who celebrated his 14th birthday. With the care of veterinarians and zookeepers, lions can live to be 30 years old. Super Summer Day Camp kicked off this week with over 130 participants. The camps at our four neighborhood community centers run through August and consist of arts and crafts, individual and team sports, swimming, educational activities, and more. Save your golf cart for neighborhood gatherings and trips to the pool. Visit police.greenvillesc.gov for a complete list of golf cart rules. Health Supply U.S. is investing more than $150 million and creating 600 new jobs over the next five years. The new Glove One operation will have the capacity to produce 4.3 billion nitrile gloves annually, with the ability to triple production in the future. As we rewrite our development code, the city is seeking to incentivize new developments that include affordable housing components. Affordable housing is defined as a rent or mortgage payment that is less than one-third of a family's monthly income. Stay strong, Greenville. A new mural by artist Lacey Hennessy encourages runners, walkers, and bikers along the Swamp River Trail. You got this. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.